Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, it literally feels like I haven't filmed a video in forever since I went away for the weekend. But I had a couple that I filmed but I just wanted to get something new out there because I had been talking about the, um, the Anastasia single shadows. So I wanted to get on here and do a look. I had something similar to this on I think maybe in one of my last videos possibly. But it's super, super pretty and I really, really liked it and I kind of just want to recreate it. Um, there's a bunch of different variations you can do with it as well. Same thing with the lip. I mean, this is kind of bright. You can tone it down to it like a nude lip or like a peony, really light pink. So, I mean, there's a lot of different looks that you can do with this eye tutorial. So, it's just like a pretty, naturally glowy skin. Glowy eye tutorial. <laughs> Alright, so we'll just get right into it and I'll show you how to achieve this look. So, if you want to see, then just keep watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye! Alright, so first off, I'm just going to be going in with the shade Burnt Orange Matte, which is this one right here. This one, so far, to be honest, is my favorite out of all of them because I feel like it's a great um, transition color. And even though it says orange, I feel like it doesn't have... It's not like a bright orange. It's not like a chickadee in any way from Makeup Geek. So it's nothing overwhelming and it's super blendable to where you can kind of just diffuse the color out as much as you want. So thus far, that's the one I find myself reaching for. It's kind of like the equivalent to with my Makeup Geek shadows. I always reach for the, um, I think it's the Beaches and Cream. It's either Beaches and Cream or Peach Smoothie. I get the two confused because I have them side by side, but... That one is my favorite transition color from Makeup Geek. But I do like the blendability of these. It's really, really good. They go on really creamy. And this one, um, being matte, obviously doesn't add any shimmer. And kind of just really warms up that area. I really, really like the color. Especially if you have any like green or brown in your eyes. I feel like it kind of just makes it pop a little bit more. And then next after that, I'm just going to be taking the color um, Red Velvet. Sorry. I just want to make sure I'm telling you the right one. Rich Velvet, not red. Rich Velvet, which is this purple shade right here. I'm going to be using this one super sparingly um, with just like a, like a domed brush, I suppose. Like or an outer V brush. And I'm just going to be going in just... I'm going to tap that very lightly just onto the center. And I'm just going to t put this in the outer V area but ever so slightly. Because I really want this look to be pretty pretty daytime versus anything dark or harsh. I just want to blend that out ever so slightly but keeping it still in that outer V area and just bringing in ever so slightly but you just want to make sure that you're blending in that rich velvet into the burnt orange matte. This just adds a slight amount of depth to the look but I really like the way it it is perfect for fall because these colors look great together. It's kind of like leaves on the tree during fall, that orange and slight ready, rusty color. I feel like when they blend together, they make a really pretty color like that. And I just go ahead and make sure that there's nothing else on that brush before I try. And just go ahead and blend that right in. And once you have that blended in, I'm going to be going in with the next color, which is just blushing. Right here, it's that really pretty pink color. I really like this. The only thing is I feel like I have to build it up quite a bit to get the amount of pink that I want. But it's really soft. It's not an overpowering pink by any means. I'm just going to go ahead and put that all over the rest of my lid area. And I believe this one is classified as one of the... um duochromes. I think it was supposed to have like a silver transition. I feel like it's a pretty true pink but as you can see right here in the light, like right here in the center, it has that little bit of a, a silver glimmer to it. This one I'm just putting, I'm just going to pack it on until I get the desired um, pigmentation that I want from this with just a, a flat brush. This was just like a, um, a brush that I got with one of the Naked palettes. So if you have one of those you probably have this brush. Just going in all over and making sure that blends but doesn't cover this outer V area. But as you can see, it's just like a really, really pretty soft pink. And it's got a shimmer to it. I don't even know what to technically call it because there's no chunks of glitter. 
but it's just got a little bit of a sheen almost I don't know maybe that's why it falls under the duochrome but it's just it's really really pretty I really like that one and the next I'm just gonna be going in with a tapered blending brush with the shade dusty rose which is this like mauve color right here and we're going in to the crease of my eye I'm going to start from the outside to kind of just blend that rich velvet in a little bit more. And just going all the way in with that. I forgot how soft this brush is. It's one of the Sigma brushes. Um, and it's so soft. And it really does make blending a, a breeze. Especially if you want something more specific right just in that crease area with the tapered of this. The point just gets right in there and it's just, it's really, really pretty. Just get all three of those colors mixed really well together. And then just kind of like a final touch that you don't have to add if you don't want to. I just kind of did because I just wanted a little bit of something extra. I'm just going to be taking the shade Pink Champagne, which is one of the titanium shades. Um, Obviously all these are from Anastasia Beverly Hills. But I'm just going to be taking um, a small pencil brush and taking the tip of it. You can do this wet as well as dry. I'm just going to do it dry today. I'm just going to go into that very corner. Just that outer edge just a little bit. And you can see this is a little bit more of a chunky than anything else that I have on the eyes here. Just a little bit, just like that. And then I should be taking um, one of the same brushes and blending that out so it's not a bunch of chunky glitter just in one area. And I feel like that just adds a little bit of extra pop on that outer part of your eye where the dark color is. As you can see it doesn't add like a bunch of color just a little bit of shimmer. And then underneath the eye I'm just going to be taking that, that pencil brush with nothing else on it and that color Dusty Rose again and running that right underneath my lower lash line. You can um, make this a little bit more dramatic depending on day or night and add a little bit of like a darker brown underneath the waterline and then use the dusty rose to kind of diffuse it. But since this is more of like daytime look, I'm just going to be taking this. And that's pretty much it there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and highlight that brow bone. I'm going to be using... Um, it's from the My Mia palette. I went ahead and I didn't go double purchase anything that I already had in the palettes beforehand. So I'm going to be taking the shade Vanilla, which is just um, a matte white shade. And I'm going to be going right underneath that brow bone. And I like that the, the matte colors are not chalky at all because I feel like that's especially if you have any kind of hint of dryness to your skin I feel like it kind of just accentuates it and since these are really nice and creamy it kind of just glides right on and over and then I'm just gonna go ahead and put on mascara and I will come back with the finished look and then this is going to be the finished look I just added two coats of regular mascara Obviously you can totally dramatic or make this so much more dramatic and add some lashes and some liner in that waterline, maybe some dark chocolate brown. Um, like I said, I just really wanted mine to be very wearable for the day. And this is what it looks like. It's just everything is so, so clean and blended and I just, I love these shadows. They're so awesome. I would definitely say if you're thinking about it I would go for it because they're really really nice really pigmented and you just have like such a wide variety of things that you can do with it alrighty so I hope that you all enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you all in my next one bye